These videos are educational in nature and are designed to help people over 21 who smoke cigarettes switch to a less harmful alternative. Hey, what's up everybody? Grim Green here. I got a broken hand, but I still wanted to shoot some videos. I don't have any like dexterity, so I can't do any, you know, building and vaping and the such as, but I still have my mouth, which means I can talk at you as much as I want. And some news that I kind of wanted to talk about that I feel like maybe people who haven't really been paying attention for the last few years are a little bit upset about, and that is that Amanda Wheeler of the American Vapor Manufacturers Association has accepted a new position at PMI. PMI is, of course, you know, Big Tobacco, Philip Morris International. I guess the only reason I say people who haven't been paying attention for the last few years is that Philip Morris International today is not the same company they were even just a few years ago. Sure, they still sell cigarettes, but progress towards harm reduction is slow and incremental, and they have announced and made plainly clear far and wide their desire to stop selling combustible products. We're moving away from cigarettes. What about you? Ultimately, we want to be in a position to stop selling cigarettes altogether. No cigarette company has done anything like this before, but the vision is clear and the benefits are clear too for everyone. So we can sit and hate on Philip Morris all we want, but the fact of the matter is they are an ally in harm reduction and they have the finances, the clout and the resources to legitimize this technology, vaping for tobacco harm reduction, on a global scale. Now, Amanda's not the first vape advocate to go work for a big tobacco company. Stefan Didak, who did the California's Not Blowing Smoke campaign, he went to go work for Philip Morris International. Paul Blair, prominent vape advocate on Twitter, Americans for Tax Reform, he went to go work for Philip Morris International. Matt Holman, a top scientist at the Food and Drug Administration, CTP, their Center for Tobacco Products, he left and went to go work for Philip Morris International. He believes in their goal of getting smokers away from combustible products into harm reduction products. He thinks he can do more for public health at PMI than he could at the bought and paid for corrupt FDA. Clive Bates, who is a long time, long time public health advocate in regards to Matt Holman going to work at PMI, he said, Dear Dr. Holman, I'm sure many will criticize your move as treachery or sellout, but this is a predictable knee jerk reflex and overlooks the public health fundamentals. I hope you ignore the inevitable criticism and remain focused on the enormous public health prize that you can pursue in your new role. I think it is an ethical and high integrity move and I hope you make the most of it. And I would say something very similar about Amanda today. I consider Amanda a friend. She has been on my live streams many, many, many times. She is whip smart and really does give a shit about vaping. Her and her husband have opened multiple vape shops in the United States. I sat and watched her speeches, both of her speeches, at both of the Washington DC vape rallies. She was the face of the 2022 We Vape We Vote bus tour that went around the United States with Casa and Greg Conley. She and the American Vapor Manufacturers Association helped get hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of small and independent vapor companies even, even have the ability to do a PMTA. I think Amanda Wheeler has single-handedly done more for our cause of harm reduction than literally all of the vape influencers on the internet combined. Her integrity should never be questioned. She is ensuring that vaping and harm reduction products are available for people who smoke. And that is the most important thing, period. So I wanna say the same thing to Amanda that Clive said about Matt Holman. I hope you ignore all of the criticisms, stay focused on the tremendous public health goal and public health opportunity you have in front of you. I also think it is an ethical and high integrity move and I hope you make the most of it. I can only hope to be as good and effective 
of an advocate as Amanda Wheeler has proven herself to be. And honestly, if we're worried about losing a big prominent vape advocate like Amanda Wheeler, then, then step up. You know, put your money where your mouth is, fill those shoes, become that vape advocate. It's not fun work, it's not easy work, and I honestly get a little bit sick and tired of uninvolved, do-nothing, non-contributors complaining and dragging Amanda's name through the mud. Leave Amanda Wheeler the f alone. Let's get out of our echo chamber, let's look at harm reduction, on a global scale. I think that only good is going to come from this, and I wanna say congratulations to Amanda Wheeler for defending vaping and defending tobacco harm reduction. Well, I got a cast on my arm, but this has been a Grim Green video. Let's remember to stay smoke-free every single day. <coughs> it's like 10.30, and then I'm uh, just gonna smoke, so.